Okay, you just could watch another axe tips to improve your color grading video and call it a day. But being honest to yourself, this will only get you so far. And if you're here, I think you're ready to hear this. So close down Final Cut Pro, whatever you're doing, and get your notepad. As I'm starting to share my knowledge and teach color grading, I encounter one thing all the time. People reach out to me and say that their footage just looks awful. No matter what they do, no matter how hard they try, they spend hours and have to start over several times. Color grading isn't magic. When I first started out, I thought that if I know which tools to use and how to use them, I just could sit down and create a fantastic look. But that's just not how it works. I felt like a hollow body whenever I sat down to color grade because I was just so overwhelmed. I knew the tools, yes, but I didn't know the why. I just want my footage to look good is the root cause of all evil. Because what does that mean? Seriously, think about it. The issue probably is that you're sitting down to color grade and expect from yourself that you just come up with a grade. Because you learned all the tools, you watched all the great tutorials on how to use the color wheels, the color curves, the HSL curves, the qualifiers and what have you. But in the beginning, it just doesn't work like that. Today, I totally could expect myself to sit down and just come up with a grade of my own. But if I was still actively learning to grade, this would be way too much to ask for. Please, color is fun. Don't be so hard to yourself. Okay, so how do we prevent that? Well, I just want my footage to look good basically means I have no idea what I'm doing. And this is fine, but this is an important realization to have. Your aimlessness when grading is what's standing in your own way. So to prevent that, I would go to the internet and look up some references. It could be stills, photography, films, YouTubers, whatever. Just go to the World Wide Web and save some screenshots. Then I want you to put up these references on your screen, get out a notepad and just describe what you see in terms of the look, not what's in the actual image, but you get the idea. Go through and describe the look using words you would actually use one by one. Then it's time to take a little break. Step away from your monitor, look out of a window or whatever. The main point is that you're away from your screen at least a few minutes. After that, come back to your references and close them down. Now, only pull up your notes without the images. Soon you will see how ambiguous the language is you use. What does contrasty mean? What is punchy? Of course, this thought process greatly benefits from knowledge and experience, but reality check you're learning to grade, so don't stress yourself out too much. Next, after you wrapped your head around the language you use, it's time to bring up your references into Final Cut Pro. Because knowing how something looks and how to describe it, sure as heck doesn't know how something looks in the scopes. Trust me, I've been there. Look at your references through the scopes, and if you don't already know how to use the scopes, this would be a great time to learn them. Then pull up the notes you took earlier and have a look at the scopes simultaneously. Try to define the language you used in a measurable way using the scopes. So how do the scopes look when I say something is dense? How do the scopes look when I say something is punchy? Now it's time to reverse engineer what you see. So get the footage you want to grade and analyze it just as is. Pick one of your reference images as a target and try to work your way towards there. Try to figure out what needs to be done to achieve that. Use the scopes, use all the tools you know, but don't stress yourself out too much. Color grading is an art and a science. Just like painting, which brushes to use, which colors, should you paint wet in wet or let something dry before continuing, etc, etc. But practice is the only path to knowledge and experience. And one thing is sure, you have come to the right place to learn color grading in Final Cut Pro.